Great, thank you everybody. I am a weak stand-in for Deborah Stipek on this topic for sure. Um, she wrote, she and colleagues wrote seven studies that uh, really just covered the entire landscape of early childhood education and alignment with early childhood experiences in grades K through three. So um, I'm gonna do my best to give some of the high level findings and then in the question and answer can at least uh, provide some of what I know from reading the technical reports. So I'll just start with um, why is this important and why is this something that we looked at in getting down to facts and, um, and why should we care? So the first is that it affects, a, early childhood education affects a lot of kids. One in eight children in the US are uh, less than five years old. And so, you know, it, it begs the question, what do we do for those kids? It also is, uh, it is important to note that those kids are often in the demographic that we're talking about here when we're talking about, uh, about equity, because there are a lot of children in this group that are first and second generation immigrants uh, with adults who actually don't speak English. They, a lot of these kids, because of our changing demographics in California, also live in poverty um, or, or in very low income situations. So this affects a lot of kids and we also know that preschool matters a lot. This is true when we look at long-term effects. Kids that have been in quality preschool have better academic and social skills. They're less likely to be retained in held back a grade or to be placed in special education. And we see even all the way down the line, increased graduation rates, higher incomes, and lower incarceration rates. Uh, but also really important, and this is something that in the press has gotten quite a bit of attention, is the fact that a large part of our achievement gap, that which we start to see in grade three on our standardized tests, is explained by the very large gap that we have when before children even enter the door, so before they start kindergarten. And even though our schools are actually doing a pretty good job at accelerating student achievement, they don't close that gap consistently. And so we see by, by race, ethnicity, by income level, where kids are when they start kindergarten contributes to, in a large degree, that gap. And uh, to, to a large extent, that's because of their experiences before they enter. Next slide. Uh, so why is that? The, the basic answer is that there isn't really an early child care system in, the, in California the same way that there is in other states. There's a really complicated range of programs, funding sources, regulations, and options, uh, which means that there are, there are ways that you can get your kids into high quality preschool or high quality child care if you pay. Most of it is private and most of it is very expensive. And so as a result, low-income families don't have access to licensed childcare or preschool. So we know it's super important, but the kids who probably could benefit most from that are specifically the kids who aren't receiving that. Um, part, of the, part of the reason for this varied quality is that early childhood workers aren't paid a living wage and they get very few benefits. So it means that it's a hard position to fill across the system. 58% of childcare providers qualify for public assistance. And so just to think on that for a minute, these are people who, um, who work with our children, who are, play a really important role in their long-term long success, but they are not making a living wage in that job. Uh, and that results in a shortage of people who go into these programs. Many of the programs that exist can't find staff, and there's really high turnover in those positions as well kind of related to this is the, is the fact that early childhood education standards are really low, uh, relatively low in California, and they vary. So there's kind of a patchwork of regulatory systems and oversight, uh, which means that, which just really contributes to this, this variation in quality that students who even are, who have access to, to early childhood opportunities, uh, they have, they, what they get varies a lot. Um, and so at, to echo a point that has been made in other, in other conversations earlier today, we, just, we also need really better data in order to, have, to build a stronger system to understand which programs are beneficial for kids in order to increase and tighten regulation and quality. We need to be able to track students through the various, uh, through the various programs that they're part of 
and, uh, and be able to contribute to a stronger understanding about what would make that a better and stronger system for those kids.